Aerial dogfights have become one of the most enduring images of the First World War, but have you ever wondered how the pilots could shoot guns through a propeller without breaking up their own propellers or having the bullet like ricochet back and smack them in the face? Because a lot of engineers did, and they came up with the interrupter gear. The idea of making sure that bullets could fire between an airplane's propellers was actually something engineers worked on before the conflict erupted, but it was Dutch engineer Anthony Fokker working with the Germans who really solved it, or at least solved it first. His system made sure that the gun could only fire when the path was clear, creating a link between the blade and the gun to bring them into mechanical rhythm. Fokker wasn't secretive about his invention, nor was he the only one to come up with some way of stopping the bullet from hitting the blades. There were other types of these systems that were more engineered driven trigger devices. These systems triggered the gun to fire at a certain point in the propeller's spin, and it would trigger it to fire a certain number of times, knowing that it would stop before the next blade came around. Interrupter gear, or synchronization gear, stayed relevant into the Second World War, because even though the planes were increasingly made of metal and had enclosed fuselages and all kinds of new technologies like retractable landing gear, a lot of them still had propellers, and they still had to have those bullets fly between the propellers to not break them apart or shoot back and hit the plane.